Oh, hey there, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Hydroneer. It's a beautiful sunrise coming up over the distant horizon. Look at that sun. It's actually moving. Look at that. Amazing. Anyway, guys, we have good news and bad news today. The good news is, well, the game is getting updated. The bad news is that the game is getting updated, <laughs> which usually means that our save file is going to be pretty much garbage, and we're going to have to start all over again. Which means that we have some more good news. It means we get to go do something stupid today, which is always fun. But the stupid thing we get to do today is make a lot of money. Now, I have a feeling if you watch the developer's update videos on his YouTube channel. Oh, if you haven't already, go subscribe to him because he does frequent giveaways too. So you can go sub to his channel. There's a link in the video description. And I don't know, maybe try to get him 10,000 subscribers because he would like, he's got 2,000 right now. And I know a lot of you guys like this game. So if you go do that, he might do a giveaway or something. I haven't talked to him about it, but uh, you could do that. Uh, any, anyway, he does weekly update videos. And this week's update video shows a brand new store coming in over here. I think it's right there. And he's adding a whole bunch of different items in the game as well, including the funnel, which we talked about in the last video. So we'll be able to automate things better. Uh, there's some new tools to use and um, I forget what else, but you'll have to go watch them and tell me what you think down below in the comments here. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to try to make one piece of jewelry for a million money. That's, that's the goal, because uh, I think that the way the economy works in the game is going to change in the next update. So I wanted to make a million dollar ring, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. So that, I mean, we're going to do it. The other limiting factor is I only have roughly four hours to do this. So we have to build up something efficient and right away, and hopefully it all works out well without things teleporting across the sky and burning up in a big fiery fame. My least favorite part about this game is ferrying things back and forth, delivering parts that I might need, and then showing up and having like, not enough. So <laughs> I'm just gonna buy a bunch. My other least favorite thing in the game is the jet propulsion system. That makes, oh, okay, we're gonna land it. Are you gonna land it? Are you gonna land? Can you land please? Get out. Whoa, hey, look. I made a tractor in a tree. That's cool. You know what? Let's just do that. If I get in without being on the side of it, it might work. Now, there's no way out. Is there a way out? Can I go this way? Please? Please let me go out here. Why would anyone want to buy a second tractor? I don't think the game is ever... Why is there no other way out? I can't... Can I go over here? <laughs> let me throw! Let me... Stuck. Also, the tractor seems to handle backwards better, which I love. Like, driving something backwards at 70 miles an hour. How much fun would that be? Like, whip around a corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Whoa, that would rip tires off. Oh my, yeah, we got we got this. You know it's fun? <laughs> this place is already a leggy mess. Is there a bunch of junk laying around somewhere that, that makes it leggy? Oh, I heard leggy junk happen. I've got three baby shards. That's not enough to power anything. How many gems are in here? Like two. I always like finding fun things underground. <laughs> All the things that we've lost in the past. I'm gonna try to clean up under here because it's gonna get stupidly leggy if I'm making a million dollar necklace. I'm gonna have so many big nuggets that I won't have room for all these stupid little nuggets. There they are. I knew I'd find them eventually. All right, so everything is cleaned up uh, down there, way down underground, like way down underground, except for these pebbles right here because I was too lazy to dig through this. Probably I should though, huh? I really need to make this clean. And it's there's just so much area down here. And the worst part is I haven't even started and it's leggy like crazy. I'm getting a really low frame rate. Which is why I think it'd be a good idea just to clear up all this extra garbage. All right, there were a few more than I originally assumed. It's kind of a lot to mess up the old leg system. So let's get rid of them. All right, so you might have been wondering before what we built this smelting house for, right? You're probably thinking to yourself, she said, Self, why did Blitz make this giant house and he never actually used it? Well, the thing I wanted to do was make it so things went in there to get smelted. What I could have done was just cannibalize my other factory since we'll never again visit the save file. But I thought it'd be fun just to build something new and exciting and maybe it'll work good. I need one more. <laughs> I need one more to go down. Ah, I don't want to make my conveyors on this level. Shoot. Maybe I don't want it. Ah, I 
guess we can try. I don't really like going underground like that. All right, plumbing system should be online. If I turn that on, this will drip and it'll fill this up. Also, it's making noise over here. That's not good at all. Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're all moving though. Oh, I remember why. It's just gonna be really annoying because there's these things and I'm gonna have to turn them off. I don't know if that's safe state. Let's see. Uh oh, please don't make noise. Nice, it's actually functioning. Okay, so the idea is that we'll fill up a bucket here. I'm gonna have to move this underground, aren't I? It's really annoying me. There, so conveyor belt's on. I do have two things here oop, that I can make uh, extra power with, which is cool. Actually, you know what? This is just the right amount of space because I can put a bucket here too. Okay, cool. We got this. So the idea is that they're going to come through the wall, hopefully. Um, I don't actually know how this is going to work. We'll have to do a test run. So I want the gold coming out in the middle, and then I guess I'll do uh, gems there. Which means shards will come out on that side. Whatever, it'll be fine. Now I just need to kidnap the shards that were in here, because we aren't going to use them. Pew, pew, pew. And in the hole. Oh, those are so big still. I love them. And then I just have to figure out how to boost them way up top. Blah. Oh, that actually might, oh, poop. Come on, get in the hole. Get in, get, lay down. Oh, it worked. It worked. Why isn't that, oh, it's not, it needs another one. I was wondering why it wasn't getting power. Okay, in the hole and close. <gasps> yes, oh, it's so cool. Okay, ready? And then if I put you over here and we grab a shovel and we start, oh, dumb. There's junk in there. Whatever, we'll put those in there, and we'll take those, and we'll dump it in, not like that. We'll dump it in here. Really? Where'd my, where'd my dirt go? This is gonna be more big brain than I thought it was gonna be. Here we go, and dump, nice! And then we take the, the thing, we move you over here. It doesn't move, okay, that's good. And then we just go, yeet! And everything automatically goes up, sort of. Other than splaying halfway across the room. So now we have to figure out what happens to these shards. Uh, how they get stuck. You're already max pressure, you dork. Why did you get, oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, this is not going to be good.com. Should make up, I, you like my new song? I just made it up. Why game, why do you not want to work dot com, org? Just wondering if any of them are ever gonna make it. That one literally fell through the conveyor belt. Did you see that? It just, it just stopped. I wonder if there's a map. It, did it fall? It fell through the ground too. I wonder if there's a, this isn't good. If there's a max distance, like the game stops loading certain things at a certain point. If that's the case, I can't have a large conveyor belt. If my gold nuggy nuggies down here, we have to kind of rethink the whole process that I've been working on for the last hour. I really appreciate you game right now. You're my best friend. Okay, let's just watch these gems go up. What happens when the jemmies go up? Do they get to that same spot and just yeet themselves down? I heard a crunch. And scrub a dub dub. <laughs> Explosions in the tub. Now you guys, don't be dumb. Roll all the way up. You know it's your calling in life. You will do it. You will make it past that point. <gasps> hey, they, they didn't make it past that point. Come on, buddy. Treat me right this time. Treat me right this time. Treat me right this time. Boom! That's, that actually works pretty well. Until it goes up the conveyor. What happens if I stand on the conveyor belt? Yeah, there's a chunk. A nuggy nuggy fell through. Oh, they all get stuck. No! Uh, oh, ah, uh, yeah. Great, 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 great. Great, great, great. All right, so I've moved everything underground. Made these beautiful little pens. Look at that, there's gold in there already. Cause those are the ones that were picked up. But yeah, gold separates and then iron separates, then gems and crystals in the same box. And I guess I'm just gonna have to get to work. I got about an hour left to recording time. So that means, oh yes, it's working. It's, are you kidding me? On the first one, you can't even, you can't even make it up the first thing in a bob or my bob. Oh, I know there is something broken with these. He's a drip. Really? Are you for real? Like for real now, yo? 
Why? <laughs> no, 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 game. That's not acceptable. We also don't talk about what happened in my house. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, since it can't be a smelting house anymore, I figured I would just kill it and then add other things down below ground. Like, and I should have just grabbed that one. Oh, come on. I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this build. Hopefully the next one is, well, it's supposed to be less buggy, a lot less buggier. So, I mean, I'll be super happy when I can play it, which shouldn't be too much longer. And I know the game does come out for sale on May 8th. So if you guys are waiting for it, you can buy it then. All right, that should work. It's going in, those are going up. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a, a quick test of Ruski here. Yep. And squirt up, up, up. I don't want to do that there. I want to do that right up. <laughs> Just, whoops. And then we'll do the scrub maneuver right here. Right. Okay, then it's getting picked up. Okay, go, go. The first one? Hey, we got one that went through. Just kidding. Didn't actually. Doesn't actually go through. Uh huh. It's supposed to. Just kind of sits there though. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? No, seriously, you dumb conveyor belt. You have to know that things go on top. Do I really have to do it all like at the flat level of the world? Oh! All right. Scrub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub. Everything's going. Hey, they made it. That one made it. Okay, so maybe. I, maybe there's not enough water pressure here? Maybe it's that. I didn't even notice there was a turd nugget hanging out. Did you guys go through? Maybe I need more water. Should have ample pressure from those two things. Will that work? Maybe the volume ran out. I'm sure that the pressure didn't run out because there's two pressure tanks and it's spinning pretty far. <laughs> but it might as well just add another little crystal right onto here. Close that up. And if this works, okay, that's spitting. Oh, it's still dripping down. That's okay. These are being dumb still. I don't know what else to do, because I've got a lot. Ah, really? No, leave my pickaxe. Okay, that one is going. It's stuck in these things, though. Did I seriously put this all backwards? Wait a minute. So looking at the arrows on the bottom, are you kidding me? The arrows have to, I can't flip it. Okay, this is weird. I think I vaguely remember something about this too. Yes, yeah, so the water can only go, all oh, right. I, here I was thinking that it goes out the back. Now I gotta flip around my stupid little dangler things there. Cause if I'm, my brain's thinking now, finally this'll work. It'll go up and then it'll shoot out the back. And it was just because I had to flow the wrong way. And yep, perfect. All right, so I guess it's time to finally get to work now that my machine works. It's a good day to be alive in the Blitztopian Empire, especially if you're dirt. I didn't want to do that. You guys are wondering, a lot of people said that you could just put dirt directly in there, which you can do. It totally works fine. The problem is you only get that much dirt in it, so it's not really worth sweeping. You can't even make the stonks bigger. Hey, I got a chicky nuggy out of it. What you do want to do though, is you want to combine this into here and then you dump that beast out. You put your bucket back down and you grab another one. This is how you make the big stonks. You put that and then you make a big one like so. Oh, you grab it before it goes down, drop it in the hole, pick it up, put it over here. And then you repeat this same process for the next hour. Well, uh, got a few hundred gold nuggets in there. I lost count somewhere between 80. Um, and then I did it for like a couple more minutes. <laughs> Thanks. I, the reason why I'm here at this screen is because if I move a little bit, then I almost get motion sick. Uh, <laughs> there's, wait, you can see the pulsing. Look at the pulsing of that, of that cauldron there. Um, and then watch me try to move. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hello, screenshot. Where did my, oh, there's my, my bucket. Um, things just randomly teleport all over the place too. Okay, so watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up one of these. <laughs> Would you not? Right? Just here. Get some water. Get some water in you. There you go. We got water. We got the shovel. Oh yeah. I've also increased um, on my PC. I've ex increased the game to like extremely high um, performance levels uh, within the task manager, whatever that's called. Uh, priority levels. <laughs> Look how fast. Did you see how fast that fell? Or how slow? 
Okay, and then we walk over here. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... Oh! And then you go too far, and you get stuck on the conveyor belt. You have to jump off, sort of. Oh, it just is a complete and utter disaster. So I click on that. <laughs> it just fell forever. And then I brush it real hard. Yeah! And then things just shoot out into the sky. And then they all fall down, and... It happens over and over and over and over and over again. This has been roughly an hour of nothing but straight mining. But it is working. Actually, it's it's working. It's functioning. And I've got quite a few large shards out of it. So that's kind of neat. We got like three super shards. I just want you guys to go in, Mr. Mr. Rock Nuggets. And then so you can follow at the back. Yeah, there you go. Hey! And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off and hopefully the leg stops. Come on, buddy. There we go. Shut off. No, not quite. It's still leggy. At least that obnoxious sound of water dropping is gone. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare spill all that out. Hey, there's a shard in here. How'd you get in here? Huh. All right. <laughs> yes, it worked. Now I got to clean up all these and I'm going to melt this down. And because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to do it a second time just so we can get two super big bars and then we'll do one gem with the big bars and make a necklace hopefully of a million credits it just is going to take me another two hours to get there that's fine it's already 10 o'clock at night Alrighty, so this right here is a bucket of water right here this is the last one um <laughs> i don't like this it makes my brain hurt we're gonna press the button here Seven seconds later, we'll pan our mouse over. It explodes in a beautiful little shimmering pile of loot as we watch the crystals crawl. Crawling up the hill. Oh, look. There's a little nugget. You see that? Little, I, can't, I constantly am walking around this cavern, and I get stuck on little nuggets like that one right in the center of my circle. Look at that. Oh, look. That, that yep, yep, that gem just fell in. I'm having that happen a lot. That's okay. I don't have anything to do with any of the gems. We'll just wait for about another couple seconds. Then we'll attempt to shut the system off. Now that usually clears up about three frames per second. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, poop nuggets. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do the iron first. I've already been like clearing up as much iron as I can. And I, I frankly don't care if I'm gonna lose money on, nope, on the iron. We're just gonna do it. And also look at all the gems I got. That's pretty cool. Isn't that neat? I love how I move one thing and the entire thing cascades into a death puddle of lag. <laughs> it, it reminds me, what are those, what are those cereals? With the frog. Honey Smacks. Some reason it reminds me of Honey Smacks. Oh, yeah. See, it was good just a second ago when I, and then I moved everything. Ah, no. No, no, bucket. No, 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 no. Don't jump over there. I needed you. And you don't know how hard it was to get you over here in the first place. Hey. They all settled down. <laughs> you know what I should do is remove the walls. And then I'll just let the whole leg system leg itself to leg land. Does this work? If I just start piling things? No. No. I, I physically have to move them in one by one. But look at that giant pile of kicks here. Oh, it's amazing. There's so much gold. I tell you what, I really hope. I really hope that this is a million monies. My guess is going to be closer to about 600,000 at this point. I can't make another one, and I've... You know, Really, you guys should hear my PC right now. It is just screaming. Sounds like a jet engine by my legs. So, <laughs> we're not going to try that again. It was using up something like 97%. I have the task manager open. Like 97% of my GPU and my power supply. Just cranking. So, hopefully this is a lot of money. A lot of fake, fake game money that aren't really going to be good for anything after this wipe goes live in a couple days so you want to be a youtuber you want to make the youtube videos for a job first thing that you need to know is that there are times where the job is not very exciting at all especially when you have to move gold nuggets for literally six hours in a single day yes it can be fun it can be 
And it's super amazing that you guys enjoy it and love it. And that's the reason I do it. And this is why people all say all the time, like, Blitz, just upload the whole fur full video. Like, put it on your second channel so you can have the full footage. Do you seriously want to sit and watch this for six hours? No. Don't even pretend to type, yes, I would, Blitz. Go ahead and upload it. Well, first off, I don't record it all because I listen to podcasts beat my head against the wall for a little while um eat food eating eating food's usually good to do once every six hours or so yeah you can imagine <laughs> i'm just taking you with me today no i am i am having fun don't get me wrong but it's just that's why we don't do hydroneer every day and we just do exciting things when i have enough energy and enough caffeine all right, many yays, many much wow. Oh, <laughs> many legs too, hot dang. Okay, we're gonna just try to teleport our way over to this thing and smelt down 500,000 money's worth of gold hydro coins or whatever the currency is in this game. There's something very satisfying about putting all of that gold into a crucible and then burning it for all of the pain and torture it's caused me today. Yes, melt, melt and feel that fire on your atoms or whatever elements are made out of, I don't know. Hey, oh, it popped. Watch this one. It'll pop in about three, two, one, boop. All right, so they're ready to go and boop. We're gonna make the bar. Yes, this is so much money. Imagine how heavy that would be in real life. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. This is gonna be iron, okay. And then where's my stupid, this thing? And we're gonna put the gold monies in here. These are both the big bars. We're gonna, as I said, we're gonna put, we're gonna put the gold bar inside. We're gonna put the bar, there we go. And then we're gonna put the other gold bar inside as well. And then we pick it up and only one stayed. So we're gonna do it again, just for the funsies. I'm gonna take the iron bars too that we made. Cause I think I can take three into one. Ah, come back here. Thought it'd be a good idea to put all of these things in my bucket, but I don't know if my bucket can hold them. <laughs> Stupid bucket. And I don't want to empty this out because it's shiny and junk, so I'm gonna empty it out. We're just gonna put it right here so I can turn it on and then... Here, would you just dump, please? Thank you. Yeah, that was kind of cool. It's like confetti on a birthday cake. Today's my birthday. Actually, I'm kidding, but sometime in the future, somebody will watch this video on my birthday. Which is weird. And it's one of your birthdays too. Happy birthday today. Leave a like on somebody's birthday comment down below. That'll be good. It'll be their birthday present today from Blitz. And I'll try to heart it. Because there's got to be a couple thousand of you with a birthday today. Or at least a couple hundred. And slow descent in madness. Slow descent into madness. And we'll take the bars. And we'll take the bars. And now the objective is, is to figure out which of these gems is the most valuable gem. Does thouth take gemmies? No, you don't take gems? What's that middle thing there? Oh, hip, where am I? <gasps> yes, gems. Okay, good. We need to figure out which nuggy nuggy is the best one here. All right. That's what my daughter calls chicken nuggets, by the way. She's two and she's adorable. Okay, that's 140, 169, <laughs> 96. 164, 170. I actually wonder what my whole bucket's worth. Ooh, 2,700. Oh, we got a 200. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 173, and the last one is 108. So this guy, green jeans here, is the most expensive gem at $201.89 pennies. All right, now for the other moment of truth. This could be kind of fun. I want to know how much these bars are worth. We'll start with the iron ones. 3,000, okay. I don't really know how much they're actually gonna be. 3,000, 5,000, wow. And the last one is 1,000. So that's what, 9,000 or so? And then we have the two gold ones. Gold bar one, <laughs> 26,000. Okay, and the next gold bar is 22,000. So that's nearly 50,000 of raw, raw, whatever this stuff is called, gold nuggies, okay? One can only hope that like, 
six hours of work is more than 50,000 money. How did, how did I teleport? Oh, I teleported into the ground. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we need to heat you, heat you up. So I can make the S word. Uh-huh, nice heated. This might actually be one of the most expensive S words in the game that anyone's ever made. So, boop. <laughs> Look how big it is. Sing, sing, sing. So I need to make the necklace, which is one gem and two thingies of gold. Thing one and thing two. And now watch the game crash. This would be so sad. I probably wouldn't cry a little bit. So you want a sweet picture of that. Look at that. Hey, hot dang. That's awesome. A big old chunk of nuggy nuggies. All right, buddy. You're gonna be stuck. You're gonna be the one. Yes! Oh, we made it. Okay, this has gotta be, I don't even know how much money. I'm gonna say at least 200,000 now because it was only 50,000, now I'm stuck. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm stuck. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh no, okay, thanks, fine. Why am I over here? Now I have to run all the way over, ugh. Please still be here, please still be here. Please don't have despawn, please don't have despawn. Yes, it's still here, oh no. Okay, we gotta, we gotta take a tracking of the money here a little bit. We gotta figure out what the right balance of money is, because we don't want to short sell ourselves, right? So the sword is at 50, that's at 85. If I pick up the bed and just, I guess, chuck it down right here, and we just sleep a few times. 85, is that up? That's a little bit higher. That's 52. Oh, never mind, it just crashed. Okay, let's see how many days it goes down now. Okay, it went down one night. Now it's at 84. I need it over 86. But I'm gonna sell the sword first, because 52 is the highest I've seen on that, I think. I've been paying attention for a little bit. Guesses on the sword. Uh oh, don't tip over. Oh wow, <laughs> the sword? I think that said, I think that said 41,000. Did you say 41,000 money sword? Ha dang, that's better than everything else I've ever sold in this game. Ha, wee. <laughs> 8602, we've seen 8666, so not quite. Ooh, 8659, ah, okay, we're gonna sleep again. It's like winning the lottery. Except every time I do this, the only thing I'm losing is more time. And I've already lost a lot today. So I'm gonna ride this out. This is the first time I've seen them all green. Oh, and that sword is higher than before. Shoot. Oh, 8670. That's nice. So here we go. The gold is here. We, we put it on there. We put this necklace, this one right here. You see it? I, what I'm going to do now is get a screenshot so I can make this into the thumbnail. No clickbait. And then we're going to put this on the bench. This is going to say 10 million. And I'm going to be so excited. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for me just to... And then... Okay, ready? I, I'm going to drop it. I dropped it. Are you guys proud of me? I actually dropped it. And... Aw! Only 200,000? Six hours of work for 200,000 monies? Man. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, bye.